Hey, everybody, and welcome back to week number four of Ash's Fantasy Facts here at sports.ktar.com. I hope week three treated you well. I hope I gave you a couple of pointers and tips. I said don't play Javid Bess. That worked out. My number one wide receiver was Anquan Bolden. That worked out. And Joe Flacco worked out as well as my number one starter at QB. My dud of the week didn't quite hit. McFadden actually had a pretty good game against the Arizona Cardinals. Let's start week four. Let's get right to it. And reminder, we've got a couple bye weeks coming up this week. Don't forget that when you put your lineup in. Dallas, Minnesota, KC, and Tampa Bay. Let's start at the quarterback position. I like Matty Ice, Matt Ryan against the San Francisco O and Niners, my new nickname for him. He's going to have a big game until San Fran proves they can stop somebody. I'm going to keep playing guys against him. And then, of course, Sam Bradford. Yeah, a little bit of a sleeper. And some of you might need a quarterback this week with the buys, like Tony Romo out. Sam Bradford against Seattle. I kind of like it. The young man got his first win last week. He looked good. Now, a couple of tread lightly. Now, I'm not saying don't play these guys. I'm just saying watch their, their numbers not be great. Matt Schaub might not have Andre Johnson this week. If he doesn't, Schaub might not put up great numbers at Oakland. Remember, Osamoa is going to shut down one of those guys for the Houston uh, Texans. And then the Madden curse to say it ain't so. Drew Brees. I got him in two leagues. Drew Brees, a little banged up, sprained MCL. He will play against Carolina this week, though. Let's move on to the running back position. I like a couple guys this week. Rashard Mendenhall going up against Baltimore. It used to be you never played guys against Baltimore, especially running backs, but now guys like Peyton Hillis are going for 100 against the Baltimore Ravens. So I love Mendenhall this week. I really like Ronnie Brown. Miami's taking on New England. Miami mad they lost last week. And remember, a few years ago, New England couldn't figure out the Wildcat. I like Ronnie Brown to have a big one. I also like the St. Louis running backs if Steven Jackson is healthy because they go up against Seattle. Seattle's given up over 300 yards and a couple touchdowns in the running game already this season. A couple of tread lightlies. Ray Rice is banged up in Baltimore. Keep your eye on that. McGahee could get the start, but either way, I'm not playing either one of those guys. They're going up against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's given up 59 yards rushing a game. Tread lightly with any Buffalo running back because well, they're Buffalo running backs. And Sean Green, I'm telling you, I have this guy in a couple of my in one of my leagues. I hate him. I'm never playing him again until he proves something to me. They love LT and what LaDainian Tomlinson is doing out there in New York. And watch some of the injury guys. Pierre Thomas low banged up this week. Javid Best banged up. Not the best matchups. Keep your eye on those guys all week long. Let's go to the wide receiver position. I'm going to put this guy on my list again. I think Hakeem Nix comes out with a big game. Manningham could be out with the concussion. Plus Chicago coming off the short week. I really like Hakeem Nix for the New York Giants. I like Malcolm Floyd against Arizona. I think the Cardinals are going to get a little shootout with San Diego, and the more of the shooting will be done by the Chargers. I like Malcolm Floyd this week. Tread lightly again with Larry Fitzgerald. Breston's out three weeks. Doucette's out until the bye week. You're going with three rookies plus Larry Fitzgerald. If the Chargers don't double-team Fitzgerald, they're crazy. I would seriously think about benching Larry Fitzgerald this week. I also think watch Anquan Bolden. Again, that Pittsburgh defense. Q was money last week. Tread lightly with Anquan this week. Let's go to the sleeper of the week. I kind of like this one. I'm hoping it works out because I have Romo in one of my leagues and I had to pick up a quarterback. I'm going with Bruce Gradkowski in five starts so far with the Raiders. Not this year, but over his last five starts. 1,100 yards and seven touchdowns, and I think only one interception. No, Houston has no picks this year, and they've given up the most yards in the NFL passing. Gradkowski at home against Houston? I'll take my chances in a bye week starter. Bruce Gradkowski is my sleeper. And finally, my dud of the week, Donovan McNabb. He's going back home. He's going to be all pumped up. The Eagles fans already have their new hero. His name is Michael Vick. So I'm not so sure they're going to be pulling for Donovan. They might give him a nice clap at the beginning, and then that is it. So I think McNabb may be a little too hyped, goes into Philly, does not have a good game for Washington. That's my dud of the week. That's it. That's how we do it. That's Ash's Fantasy Facts for week number four. Remember, Dallas, Minnesota, KC, Tampa, all on a buy this week. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, send them my way. Ash at KTAR.com is the email. Ash620 is the Twitter account. And of course, Facebook, just plain and simple Mark Asher. Hopefully you're doing well. Don't forget to get your lineups in on time and good luck in week four. I got a feeling.